working on a bridge design that's going to complement the headstock design that I've been using for the last um, year and a half or two years. I think I've come up with a general shape that I really like. The way I came up with this is extremely simple. I looked at the curves of the headstock and I wanted to take the, the same sort of shape and those, those same curves and move them to another part of the guitar. So what I did was I traced this part of the headstock and you can see that's exact to this half of the headstock. And then I simply took a French curve and created, connected these lines with the French curve and just added this little attractive uh, angle here at the end. A standard um, bridge template, standard bridge shape, sort of fits inside this thing. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than that standard bridge shape, but there's going to be a lot of, just like with this bridge shape, the wings taper down, there's going to be a lot of tapering down at different angles here, and that's actually a part of the three-dimensional design aspect that we're going to get into a little bit later. But it's important to be generally within the range of an acceptable bridge size for this shape because we have a couple of things we want to watch out for. One of the biggest things being that there's enough room from the leading edge of the saddle slot to the very front of the bridge. And of course what we really want to avoid is having a very small amount of wood between where that saddle slot ends on the treble side and where the edge of the bridge is. You can end up in a situation where uh, you'll have a blowout on the treble side of the bridge. And then on the flip side, you also don't want the bridge pin holes to be super close to the back edge or super close to where your saddle slot is supposed to be. You wanna make sure they're set back uh, just far enough to give you an appropriate angle for the strings to bite down on the saddle. We'll talk more about that later. So what I want to do now is lay out some design parameters. I'm going to draw out the body shape, the layout of the fretboard, and uh, transfer my scale length down so I can figure out exactly where that saddle is going to go, exactly how I want to tip this aesthetically how I want to locate it on the, the body, and then uh, where the lie of the bridge pin holes will be. After that, I'm going to make a prototype of this and then mess around with some of the three-dimensional aspects. I'll probably make it out of MDF and then just work on tapering these ends to find sort of an overall three-dimensional shape that I can be happy with. And in the end, I really don't know what's going to become of this. I may even just scrap the whole thing. This is just the beginning of working on a rough draft. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to need to make some extra copies of this because this right now is my only copy, and so if I want to mess with it, um, it's just prudent to make some additional copies so that I can always go back and start from where I was at this stage. So now to trace this out, I'm using an extremely hard pencil. Um, pencils have a hardness scale that I think goes up to 9H. They're, they're measured in H, so 1H would be very soft. This is 7H. Uh, if I had a 9H pencil, I would, that would work great as well. The downside to very hard pencils is they leave an extremely faint line, so it's a little hard to see, but you know that that pencil is going to maintain its, the diameter of its pencil line throughout the entire time I'm drawing this, whereas an extremely soft pencil would start out sharp, but then as time goes on, you would have a much fatter pencil line as the pencil rounds over and wears down quickly. 